there are ways of living closer to the ground, closer to your food, to being happy with having less. That maybe you didn't need all these fancy things you were buying, all these clothes and all the, uh, the props of American consumer culture. We have a lot of new faces in the door following economic crisis in their lives. People who um, lost their job, families who were running out of money. We felt the kind of uh, the need to respond in an intentional way that was going to be really helpful to these people. There's a couple of these programs and all of them follow the idea of partnership in some way. And because we were hurting too. It wasn't just that, like, this isn't charity for somebody else. We were hit by the same crisis. There's a farm upstate, uh, Norwich Meadow Farms, that is a fantastic person who um, runs it, and, and, but they're of course struggling as all small farms are. So we developed a CSA relationship, which is Community Sustained Agriculture. And uh, we did it on this scale, so basically the people who had money could pay a little bit extra, so that those who didn't have as much or any money could pay less. So basically we entered into a collective farm agreement. My name is Chris. Uh, I have been working with them for probably seven or eight years now. There are people who uh, band together and, and do a cooperative effort to help support the farm and also to reap the benefits of the food that is produced off the farm. So a percentage of food each week is, is delivered to locations like this for students. And it's organic food. So. My name is William Serfs and I started coming to Judson just about a year ago, I was in a deep financial crisis. I had uh, been unemployed and hardly able to make ends meet. I became, got involved in something called the Restaurant Opportunity Center. And one of the community ministers here at Judson put a uh, message out to the Judson listserv. And people replied to me, you know, he put my, my email address in there. One woman helped me to find a lawyer who was able to help me to get my disability, and so now I have a regular fixed income. William offers a skill set that a lot of us didn't have. He, he knew people all throughout the city who were part of various intentional living communities, people who live kind of together in some way and save real estate. And um, that was able for us to get other people into housing options that were better than shelters. And so we followed the idea of partnership, and this sort of has a loaves and fishes idea that as a community you can connect larger uh, possibilities than anyone as a whole could ever you know, connect to.